If you want to get Azure certification in 2024, this video is for you. Today I will share with you a study path that I personally followed to pass Azure certification for free. I have six different Azure certification and I didn't spend any money on courses, books or practice exams to get certified and neither need you. There is already tons of free resources available to you and I will show you everything you need to successfully pass any Azure certification. The very first thing you need to do though before you start studying for any exam is to check the study objectives for your exam. Microsoft frequently makes changes to the study exam objectives and that's why it's important to confirm which skills are measured. You might find that some study resources are already outdated, so make sure to watch out for that. You can find all the changes on official Microsoft website. Once you know the exam objectives, it's time to start studying. And I kick things off always with the written up-to-date content. For CompTIA or Cisco certification, I would reach out for a book. But with Microsoft, your best bet is Microsoft Learn. It's updated regularly and divided into different learning paths based on the exam. Each learning path has different modules where you will find all the necessary information for the exam. You are even rewarded with badges, trophies and experience as you are leveling up your account through this journey. As someone who loves gaming, this feature is very enjoyable for me, because you can see your progress in real time. Actually, let me know in the comments what is your level, if you are already used Microsoft Learn in the past. I'm getting close to level 13. One thing I want to mention, don't rush through it. Each module has practice questions for you to test your knowledge. If you answer incorrectly, go back and review the material. Make notes. The best would be to write your notes with pen and paper, as you are going to remember much more. The main objective here is to get familiar with the material and have notes that you can go back to. Once you are done with Microsoft Learn for written content, move to something less demanding. I usually watch videos covering the exam objectives. My personal favorite is John Savile. His YouTube channel is absolutely amazing and you will find plenty of playlists covering different certifications. Just make sure to check out when the video was published and compare it with the exam objective changes to avoid studying something that's no longer relevant. Again, make sure to write some notes because you are not going to remember everything the first time you are watching a video. You want to regularly recall the information. This way you will remember much more. Now that you have some knowledge, it's time to do some hands-on, if possible. Microsoft recently released applied skills that will test you in different Azure services such as web application, AI, Power Automate, Microsoft Sentinel and others. If exam objectives cover something from the list, make sure to check it out. Another source is official GitHub Microsoft Learning Repository, where you can find different step-by-step -step labs for different certifications. To be honest with you, you could pass the certification even without the hands-on labs. But I strongly believe that practical hands-on experience will enhance your understanding and retention of the material. So make sure to not skip this stage. After you are done with the labs, you should have comprehensive understanding of the exam objectives. And if you regularly went through your notes, you will remember a lot. But you need to test yourself to find out if you have any weak areas. For that, I use practice test. Microsoft provides you with the assessment similar to a style, wording and difficulty of the question you are likely to experience on the exam. You can immediately check your answer and if you want to learn more about it, you can from an official documentation. And that's pretty much it. The last recommendation I have for you is to keep an open eye for Microsoft Cloud Skill Challenge. It's an easy way to get 50% discount for your exam and in the past, they would even give away free exam vouchers for completing the challenge. It's a win-win situation where you enhance your skills and save money on certification exam. Just remember that it's not only about passing that certification, but more about gaining a knowledge that you can apply in real-world scenarios. Good luck on your Azure certification journey. And feel free to share your progress and experiences in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and like for more content in the future.